वेलकम टू माई इंग्लिश क्लास रूम आई एम योर इंग्लिश टीचर शेख रफी टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द ग्रामर टॉपिक दैट आई स्टार्टेड इन माई लास्ट वीडियो येस इट इज एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉइस द टाइप्स ऑफ वॉइसिस एंड द रूल्स फॉर चेंजिंग अ सेंटेंस फ्रॉम एक्टिव वॉइस टू passive voice i also explained you the different b forms that we have to use while converting a sentence from active voice to passive voice while discussing previously i focused entirely on assertive sentences today in this video i am going to focus on imperative sentences children i hope you have seen my previous video if you have seen that is well and good if not then i strongly recommend you to first watch that video and thereafter continue with this video because if you have a clear background of what we learnt earlier it will help you in understanding today's video much better so with that background let us continue the learning let us first of all understand what is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence contains a request an order a command a suggestion an advice or a wish generally imperative sentences they ask us to do something or not to do something or to be like this or that or not to be like this or that so let us try to understand the structure of imperative sentences and then understand how to convert them into passive voice let us look at the first type of structure for imperative sentences those sentences where in active voice we are given only verb and object if in active voice we have been given only verb and object then while changing it into passive voice we should use let plus object plus be plus v3 that is past participle form of the verb now how it has to be done let us see some examples see here the first example i have given here ring the bell now in this sentence ring is verb whereas the bell is object so the structure is verb plus object verb plus object now we have to change it into passive voice so for such type of sentence the passive voice structure given here is let plus object plus b plus v3 so what we will do we will keep let first here let the bell that is object let the bell be rang v3 is rang ring rang rang so let the bell be rang that is very simple see the next example clean the table now here we know clean is verb and table the table is object so the structure to change it into passive voice let plus object plus b plus v3 so we'll write let the table let the table be cleaned let the table be cleaned so let plus object plus b plus v3 the third example close the door let the door let the door be closed that's so easy see the last example the fourth example i have given here switch off the lights here switch off is verb the lights is object so we will change it into passive voice let the lights let the lights be switch off so v3 switch switched switched so let the lights be switched off let the lights be switched off now that's a very easy we have to just remember the structure here how to change an active voice into passive voice right when only verb and object is given we have to use let plus object plus b plus v3 let us see the next type of structure let us look at 
another type of imperative sentence that is orders when it is an order the structure of active wise is we have verb at the beginning of the sentence and thereafter we have other words for example get out of the office here get out is the verb whereas other words are out of the office uh, similarly type the letter here type is verb and uh, the letter are the other words so generally in orders uh, we have verb at the beginning and the other words thereafter so if you want to change an, an order from active wise to passive wise then the structure you have to follow is at the beginning of the sentence you have to write you are ordered to thereafter you will write the other words given in the sentence for example see the example here the first one get out of the office so we'll change it into passive wise by adding you are ordered to you are ordered to rest of the sentence get out of the office you are ordered to get out of the office see the next example type the letter now this is an order so how we will change it into passive wise you are ordered you are ordered to type the letter you are ordered to type the letter then let us go ahead with the third example complete the work by evening you are you are ordered you are ordered to complete the work complete the work by evening all the words will be same as given in the question see the last example bring a glass of water for them bring a glass of water for them now by reading or looking at the sentence we should understand that this is an order so how we will change it into passive wise you are ordered you are ordered to and thereafter the words given in the sentence you are ordered to bring a glass of water for them the remaining words all will be same so this is the structure that we have to follow in case of orders for orders for advices even for commands we use the same structure let us see some more types of structures the third type of sentence i have mentioned here are requests so whenever we make a request to someone we generally use the word please so in active wise the structure is we have please plus other words given and while changing it into passive wise we have to use you are requested to plus other words let us see some examples and understand it see the first sentence i have given please help me so the structure is please plus other words please help me so when i look at the word please i understand that it is a request so if i have to change it into passive wise i will frame the sentence you are requested to you are requested to help me so let us write the answer you are requested to help me so that's an easy way of changing it into passive wise see the next sentence please close the window you are requested to close the window you are requested to close the window the third example please give me a book you are requested you are requested to up to here it is common in all sentences thereafter we have to write the other words you are requested to give me a book 
see the final example please don't do that so he is asking something not to do so what we will write you are requested you are requested not to do that not to do that so that's a very easy uh, method of changing from active voice to passive voice this is what you have to follow in terms of when the sentence is a request so we have seen previously in orders we had the same structure you are ordered to and here in uh, requests we find you are requested to similarly we have in advises you are advised to let us see that type of sentence i have mentioned the fourth type of structure uh, dealing with advices right when we give advice the structure of active voice is generally we have verb at the beginning and then we have other words for example take medicines regularly so when somebody says take medicines regularly generally this is an advice given by doctors so we have to identify that it is an advice so we have verb at the beginning and then we have other words and if we want to change it into passive voice it is similar to orders or request when it was an order we said you are ordered to when it was a request we said you are requested to similarly when it is an advice we say you are advised to plus we have other words so let us see some examples the first example they have given here is take medicines regularly so our answer will be you are advised to you are advised to take medicines regularly that's easy to change it into passive voice see the second uh, question given there go for a walk daily now again this is an advice so how we will change it into passive voice we'll use you are advised to you are advised to go for a walk daily see the third example wake up early now we know that this is a advice generally given by all parents so wake up early you are advised you are advised to wake up wake up early let us see the last example given here don't smoke so this is a negative advice somebody is asking you not to smoke so don't smoke how we will change it into passive voice you are advised you are advised you are advised not to smoke not to smoke right so children that was easy how to change an advice from active voice to passive voice let us look at the other structure the fifth structure that i have mentioned here is about suggestions even the structure for suggestions in active voice is same we have verb at the beginning and it is followed by other words so what we have to do when we have to change it into passive voice we should first write the subject then we should write should be and finally we should write the v3 that is past participle form of the verb let us look at some examples the first sentence given here is respect the elders someone is suggesting you that you should respect the elders so what we will do first we have to write the subject now in this sentence respect the elders the subject is the elders so we will write the subject first the elders then should be the elders should be the elders should be finally we have to write the third form of the verb respect respected respected so the elders should be respected 
So that is the structure that we have to follow. Subject plus should be plus V3. So keep in mind that when it is a suggestion, we should use should. Suggestion, we should use should be. So this is different from the previous structures that we saw. Right? See the next example. Help the weak and poor. So here help is verb. The weak and poor is a subject. So we will write the subject first. The weak and poor. The weak and poor should be the weak and poor should be helped. V3 is helped. See the next example. Love the kids. Here the subject is the kids. So we will keep the subject first. The kids. The kids. Then we will write should be. The kids should be. And then third form of the verb love. It's loved. The kids should be loved. And finally, the last example given here is don't hurt others. It's a negative sentence. Don't hurt others. So the subject here is others. So we'll write others, others should not be should not be right instead of should be since the sentence is in negative we will write should not be or shouldn't be hurt so hurt v3 is hurt so we will write the same others should not be hurt so i hope you understand children this is an easy way you have to keep the structure in your mind for suggestions so that was all about changing an imperative sentence from active wise to passive wise children let me tell you again and again uh, that grammar can only be perfected by doing more and more practice so you have to keep the structures of various sentences and how to change it into passive wise in your mind this can be done only by practice and that will definitely help you in improving your grammar thank you very much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel